Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Beardy here. What's going on, guys? Okay, so Bolo Young versus Bruce Lee. Yes, this actually happened. Until recently, I thought this didn't happen, that this was just made up. But now, after a long while, I've actually been able to verify from different sources that this actually did happen. So, back in the early 70s, Bruce Lee saw Bolo Young in several movies in Hong Kong, and he really liked him. So he said that I want Bolo Young for Enter the Dragon. So he really championed him along for that movie. He said to the producers, I want Bolo Young in that movie. Bruce Lee really liked him. And eventually they did get him. And so, yeah, they had a lot of sparring matches because they had a fight scene in the movie Enter the Dragon. As you can see here, these pictures, they had a lot of sparring matches, a lot of training matches, a lot of rehearsal for the movie. And Bo Lu Young was so surprised by Bruce Lee's speed that he felt like he was not even a match for Bruce Lee when it came to speed. But he thought that maybe he's he's not strong because he's so fast he's not strong and that bolo was stronger than him but in their fight rehearsal they didn't have any way to actually measure the strength so one day after a shooting session on the movie enter the dragon bolo young went up to bruce lee he was really really respectful uh, and he said uh, can we have a sparring match that's real? So not like a, a rehearsal, but a real sparring match. Because Bolo wanted to test Bruce Lee's strength. Now, the thing is that we all know how strong Bruce Lee was. But Bolo had no clue. So what happened is that they were going to have a sparring match after the day of shooting. Uh, Bolo Young specifically waited till the day was over so that no one was around. But there were still people around and it's those people that actually verified, ended up verifying this fight. So what happened is that when they were agreeing the sparring match, they got into a heated debate. I don't know what, but they were shouting. So they... Basically, maybe they were arguing about something. They couldn't agree on something. I, I'm not... Nobody knows. Nobody will ever know. But they got into a heated debate. And that's where they actually started the fight. So, Bolo grabbed Bruce Lee. Like a bear hug kind of thing. And just like squeezing him. Uh, and Bolo got out of it. Uh, no, I mean... Uh, sorry, Bruce Lee got out of it. Out of that, that bear hug. And took a step back and he lunged towards Bolo Young, hitting him in the chest and Bolo went down on his knee and he waved his right hand like this is over. And that's basically it. <laughs> I mean, it, it wasn't a long fight, but it was a real fight. Um, so yeah, Bolo just waved his hand. Maybe he got hit in the solar plexus and he couldn't breathe. I, I don't know. But he basically got his answer. That <laughs> how strong is Bruce Lee? Well, yeah, here you can see he's really strong. And this basically just confirms what Dan Inosanto said in his interview. That Bruce Lee could shell shock a person with only his jab, his lead jab. So he probably hit uh, Bolo Young in his chest with his lead jab and he went down in, on his one knee and waved his hand. And this that was that. And they ended up becoming really good friends. And subsequently, uh, every interview Bolo Young gives, he's really respectful of Bruce Lee. He was a really big, big fan. And if there's someone that knows something about strength, it's Bolo Young. That guy is a monster strength. I mean, he, he that guy is brutal. 
he is one of this was one he was actually a bodybuilder and a weightlifter back in the days and i mean just look at his body i mean this guy was a complete animal so uh yeah he knew something about strength that guy so when bruce lee tagged him and he went down i mean that's that just goes to show how strong bruce really was that's i mean guys that's what's so freakish here Bruce Lee was so fast, but so strong too. Usually when you're light and fast, you don't have that strength. But Bruce Lee's boxing background, that's what gave him that immense jab, um, uh, immense power in his jabs. And combined with Chinese boxing and Jeet Kune Do, uh, where he puts like everything, all his powers in his jab from the hip, all the way from the from the leg up to the hip and to the jab i mean that's a technique that requires so much skill you have to be like a seasoned boxer to get that skill and bruce lee had that skill so yeah there you go guys this is it's so weird because it's so rare for a new bruce lee fight to show up i mean i think it's been like a decade since last time there was a real verified fight showed up and this is the first one in this decade that showed up and it just goes to show how strong and fast bruce lee really was so thanks for listening guys see you later bye